I've got one more line of defense that I'm gonna try this year with my squash. Viva trap. Um, I've never tried a squash vine borer trap and I've read online that you can do um, containers that are yellow and fill them with water and put them in your garden. It can be something as small as a Frisbee and apparently, you know, they're drawn to the color yellow. They will fly in and drown. Now, it makes sense if you think about the squash flowers, the squash flowers are yellow. So they make these and they come with like a little pheromone thing. So I'm gonna try to put this thing together. I don't know what it looks like, so I'm hoping it's easy. Oh, interesting, it's not even yellow. Kind of figured this thing would be yellow. Um, try to do this on camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, does it come with directions? No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. All right, here's what the directions look like. If the sun doesn't. Grasp top and bottom of the trap and pull apart. Fold perforated end inward and hold trap in a three-dimensional shape as shown below. So first we gotta get this thing out of here. don't know if we need that, so I'm just going to set that aside. Okay. Oh, I see. They're sticky. That's what gets them. Okay. Fold ends inward. So these... That's easier said than done. There we go. I guess that's so they, it's harder for them to fly out. Maybe. Okay. Open the protective packet, remove the lure. Place lure on inside the trap. Hang the trap by placing a twist tie hanger through the hole in the top and hang in an appropriate location. Inspect the traps regularly and remove insects and debris. I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to remove anything from that gooey mess, but okay. Um, replace diamond trap as necessary when sticky surface becomes covered with debris, dust, or insect scales. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here first. And actually, you probably can't see, but right here is my, I have a little hook there's not, it's really hard to film on location when you don't have a little tripod for your phone, so <laughs> I need to invest in something to make this easier, but, all right. I'll show you this in just a second, so actually, I wonder if I can just go, dude. That's what that's hanging on. Okay, now, here's the little trap. Now, I don't know what we're supposed to hang that on in there. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. Okay. So I guess that just goes in here and I'll put it, ooh close to the middle as I can without touching the sides, which I failed at miserably. Let me see if I could push that back a little. I guess it doesn't matter. There we go. Now that I have it on my fingers. <laughs> and now we have this little trap. 
wonder if I should shorten that. Maybe I'll shorten that a little bit. I don't know, they lay, they lay down low, right? What's the matter, Bren? My partner in crime is out here with me, of course. You tell them. You tell them they better use their manners and behave. Ah, it's a little shorter anyway. Yeah. I also got another one of these traps for cucumber beetles this year. So I don't think I brought, oh yeah, I did. So I'll be hanging one of these as well. Same idea. Just on a little hook like that near my, near my squash. And uh, hopefully that might catch a few of these evil little creatures. So, and here's Brenner. Brenner. Hey, Bubba, what are you doing? Enjoying the sun? Keeping us safe? He has a very important job of keeping us safe and he does a great job. All right, on to our next project. I wanted to do a video really quick because guys, this morning I installed this. Look at that. That is one of the borer moths. So already this trap has caught something in it in what, a couple hours? So I'm just, I'm out putting the rest of my cups on my plants. I think I've got most of them covered. I got one in the middle there that still needs one. Um, so, you know, that was, the foil is my first line of defense. The cups are gonna be my second line of defense. And then I installed this trap with a little pheromone thing in it and it's already caught something. So guys, right now they are out. <laughs> if you need a sign, this is it. So take precaution and go protect your plants if you can. Good luck. I have another update on the trap check this out there's another one in there i don't know how well you can see that there's actually two borer moths in there right now so this thing works this thing definitely works and i will put a link in the description of where i got it you know here i was thinking maybe i need to paint this thing yellow no it's uh here and here's where i've got it hanging you know, just next to my beds. So it's doing a really good job. And uh, you can see I've got all the little collars on them down here protecting as well. I just came and did a little visual inspection on this one, making sure there's nothing on it. And uh, it seems to be working. So yay. Maybe this, this is gonna be our year that we win against these suckers.